If you're working on a project and you take a ton of notes on that project, keep it in the folder that we've talked about inside the Para Principles. Even sometimes it can be hard if you have countless notes to sift through them with tags and different things like that. Today I'm going to show you one quick hack that I absolutely love and it's a game changer for organization. So let's jump into Evernote. What's up guys? Okay, we are going to jump into a project that I'm working on right now. So let's find one with a ton of notes. So this one right here, Warrior. This is a mentorship group that I'm a part of. I have a ton of work to do for it. As you can see, as I scroll down, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of notes in there that I take going through the curriculum. So you know, I could search in here for, you know, different things like inside the, the, the warrior folder, I could search for different things, or I could tag them and do all that stuff. But one of the things that I really love, and I saw someone do recently, is I'm going to create a new note in here. So I'm going to create a table of contents. So new note in here, I'm going to say table of contents, right like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these um, notes. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select them all. And once I've got them all, 39 notes selected, I'm going to right click here. I'm going to go to copy app links. They're all copied here. I'm going to go to table of contents and I'm going to paste and boom. So now I can just look through the table of contents I have and just pick the one that I'm trying to find or look at or review, click there, boom, and it goes straight to the note and I can be working on that right here and now. So super cool little um, uh, hack to get into this. Again, it really works if you've got like more than maybe 10 notes or like a ton of different notes in here because you just have all the links and they're right. Now, depending on if this is like a project you're working on here now, you can also right click this end note and you could pin it to home like there and it will actually be in your home screen. Boom, and it's pinned in here and you can go through it like this. That's kind of super handy too if it's something that you're always gonna be referencing. Um, so I really, really love that. And now I'm in here, if I wanted to clean it up, make it look a bit better, I could go ahead and add a table. And you know, you can add as many columns as you want in here, uh, add as many rows as you want. And basically what I'll do is copy this one, paste it in here, you know, and you could put them into different categories, you know. So, you know, uh, different ones like here. And then now you have a little table that are all a little bit clean up. So if you have different like categories that you're working inside or whatever that looks like, now you can have a real table of content that's completely categorized and makes your workflow a lot simpler and easier. So this is such a cool little hack I love for Evernote. I think definitely the folders where I'm gonna have multiple, multiple uh, different notes eventually, like this recipes one, for instance, I can start categorizing them into a table of contents um, in terms of different meats or whatever this looks like, you know. So tons of cool stuff you can do inside of Evernote when it comes to um, making that a little more easier to find all the notes that you have. All right, there we go. More Evernote to come, guys. See ya.